You know, I'm not gonna lie with you. Sometimes video content creation can be difficult. Sometimes you just don't feel it. And kind of like today, I just really was struggling to finish the video that I had planned to come up on Wednesday. It's now Friday at 2 p.m. and it still hasn't happened. And hey, editing Walcom here, if you could do me a quick favor, there's like a 0% chance that this video will do well in the current YouTube algorithm, but I would like to change that. So please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button because all of those massively help the channel grow and thus help the hobby grow. Now back to a video on an old buzz be blaster but i just got a really good idea an idea that i'm actually really passionate about and i hope you join me on this journey because busby just sent me an email as of like 2 p.m on friday saying that they wanted my delivery address so they could send me samples of the blasters i did reviews on now that's all well and good but they didn't tell me why if they just wanted to send some things out i would actually like to have more of the tetra shot chains so i could make a cool mod with the tetra shot you know something that has a few hundred rounds that would be super fun but i also assume that they want me to either do individual videos on each one of those or do a lump re-review of all three of them which honestly i don't think that's worth my time and effort when there's so much more other stuff i could be doing videos on and i know those videos look bad for busby and then i thought well i have been a little hard on busby so why don't we Take a look at a blaster I've honestly never reviewed on this channel. I don't think this blaster has ever hit this channel in any capacity, but I can already tell you, I know this one is good. Now there are other Busby blasters that I have in package that I could be taking a look at as well. I chose the Reaper because honestly, I've never covered it on this channel before and there's no way in heck I'm going to be opening up that brand new, actually, you can't even see it. Hold on, let's do a little live. There we go. You see that in the corner? That is a brand new inbox Busby Sentinel. And that thing's worth a pretty penny now because people actually want them. And ever since that blaster was released, 2015, maybe 2014, there hasn't been another blaster that's lever action that's really that good. There's some 3D printed stuff coming out, but the Sentinel's still the king. All of you out there watching this video most likely want one, have one, and probably want another one. Which is why they cost so much money for something that's a budget release. Those things can hit stupidly hard, and they are incredibly fun. Honestly, it's kind of been bothering me lately why we have so few lever action blasters when levers are scientifically better at compressing a spring catch kind of thing than any kind of pump grip. I mean, mechanical advantage and all of that stuff. Give me a lever long enough and I can move the entire world kind of thing. So hop on that, like worker, a dart zone, please. Lever action, good, yes. But this is the Reaper. It is essentially, as far as I can remember, a reshell of the Busby Champion, which was a $10 blaster that was essentially a retaliator without the stock or muzzle or anything like that. And this is just a, well, cooler looking version of that. We'd already, and we can already kind of talk about what we got going on here. This was a Kmart exclusive, although I believe I've seen them in other places than Kmart in different colors. And it came out around 2016. I believe it was reshelled for like 2016, 2017. It's not a very old blaster is what I'm trying to say. And there's a lot to love here. It comes with two magazines. Every magazine fed blaster should come with two magazines, otherwise you're defeating the purpose of having a magazine. All of the loading instructions are on the back of the box. It says it blasts up to 72 feet, and you can also get the Ultratech Predator, a blaster I did cover on this channel, which even though it was a single shot bolt action thing, it was cheap and it was super fun. And the Ultratech Sidewinder, which gets a bad rep, but the Ultratech version actually hits reasonably hard. It's got a huge capacity, and the HAMP, the high air pressure manual pump style system, while it doesn't have a trigger, or anything like that, those can hit ridiculously hard. A Sidewinder, if you pump it hard enough, can hit over like 90 FPS if you want it to. And it shows XL distance darts, which I assume are their mega style that they had, foam darts, which were the original Busby darts that we kind of actually really like. Original Busby sticky darts weren't that bad at all. They were just a little bit too heavy for the power of the blasters. And then their long distance darts, which are, well, they've actually changed that. This is the new... Ooh, I got a shadow going on there. You notice these as the new Busby long distance starts, and honestly, 
They've never really been that good. I think the first blaster I got that used these was the Monorail, which the Monorail was a super cool blaster that was reasonably inexpensive too, but had some issues, which made it not a desirable pick for a lot of people. I still love the Monorail blaster. I think it's cool, but I understand why people don't really like that thing. And thus, I'm going to open up this old blaster so I have one out of the box and can show you that I bet this thing will be way better than any of the Busby Blasters I've looked at this year. Probably any of the Busby Blasters that you can buy on shelves right now. But I can already tell you I hate these like metal twist tie things. These are these are not good. I can't even do like a cute common Rider jingle opening thing because these take way too long. So first things first, an actual pretty comfortable grip, not perfect, but definitely usable. The main issue with the grip on the Reaper right off the bat is this ridge right here near the trigger. I have to kind of put my finger under that, which is not where my finger naturally wants to rest, but it's a pretty middling problem. I could forgive it and I can certainly use this blaster. No issues. It's not like a grip that I physically can't use, like the things like the Battle Blazer. I'd, that is one of the worst grips I ever. I never even did a review of it because my Battle Blazers that I was sent didn't even work. And uh, now we are on year two of me getting Busby blasters that aren't working. And as you can see here, this blaster was $13 at Kmart. So honestly, I don't even, I, I could keep it like this and uh, you know what? I was thinking like I could reuse this box. I could just twist tie the blaster back on there and stuff, but screw it. Let's let's sacrifice this one to the gods. I'm still going to fire the new Busby long distance darts out of this thing. But here are the sticky darts that it came with. And it's not like these are massively better in quality. There's still glue on the side of them that are causing some, could cause some issues, especially in a magazine, but pull back the slide, magazine releases on the bottom of the blaster, not super ergonomic, but hey, it still works. Everything feels pretty darn cheap. It doesn't feel super high quality or anything like that, but it's serviceable. It's Busby plastic. We've kind of gotten used to it, but that's one of the reasons why you don't see a lot of integrations using Busby stuff, because it just, it's not the same. All right, darts, load that in the front there, close the breech. Dirt didn't even come out. Put the mag in there, close the breech, and fire. Fire's fine. I'm gonna take it over the chronograph and I'm also gonna take it outside. We'll do a range test and I will fire again the buzz. I have a whole collection here because I got way too many of them with the Tetra shot and everything and see how those perform out of this blaster. So first things first, the darts, the blaster came with the sticky darts. There. 82. 82 again. 81. 84. 84 again. 81. You get the point. Old Busby blasters were really freaking good. Especially you got to remember that at this time, there was no such thing as like a pro line that you could pick up that hit 150 FPS out of the box at your local Walmart or Target. Now, let's do the new Busby long distance starts. And usually the only problem with these are the accuracy is horrible, but let's see if the feet per second here is also still okay. 75, 78. 79. Looks like we're taking a little bit of a hit here. Yeah. Just a worse performing dart in basically every single facet. All right. Uh, standard range test with the included Busby sticky darts. Not bad. That was pretty much flat. It's almost reaching 50 feet flat. Let's give it a slight angle now. Oh boy, almost 75 feet. <laughs> uh, that one hit the guiding wire, let's see. Yeah, just about there. Not very accurate, but <laughs> they definitely fly pretty good. So let's take that out. 
and we'll swap to the current Busby long distance darts. Flat, over 50 feet flat. So even though those hit less hard, they still fly exceptionally well. And I have a feeling that has to do with the fact that the original Busby sticky darts or whatever you want to call them have flat kind of cups on the end that would not be as aerodynamic as the head that's on the Busby long distance dart that we use nowadays. Let's give it an angle. Holy crap. That dart went straight and that dart went far. Okay, well, that, that's kind of weird. That one spun out of control. Are we empty? We are empty. That one shot went like 80 something feet. Perfectly straight. I know that's not, that's the exception and not the rule, but it's like those darts, those new darts work better in their old style of blaster. Incredible. One of my biggest reasons for wanting to do this video is because I know there's a lot of new people out there that probably don't even know that the Reaper is a blaster that exists, or they might find it at a thrift store and just kind of wonder, what the heck is it and is it any good? And the answer to that is, it's pretty decent, especially for the price for what it was sold at, and the fact that it looks like this, people really like this sci-fi aesthetic, this one all really had everything come together perfectly for it. And that doesn't even touch on the fact that these things were exceptionally moddable. You can make these things hit as hard as like a Nexus Pro with pretty little work. Just a spring upgrade and a brass breech, which is another reason why Busby blasters honestly used to be pretty freaking cool. And yes, this thing is completely compatible with standard Nerf magazines. I tried to put like a Titan drum in here to be cheeky, but unfortunately this kind of edge right here blocks drums, but there's a lot of cool stuff that can be done with a Reaper. Busby used to be really good. And I sincerely hope that next year we have a return to form for this company because they didn't used to be the worst company that you could buy dart blasters from. While they've always been known to be a budget option, they've also been known to be a pretty good option. And when it came to the Sentinel and things like the Brute and a bunch of other blasters, those are blasters that you would use over many name brand stuff. I mean, sure, the ecosystem has changed. I can now go to my local Walmart and pick up something that hits 150 FPS and shoots short darts, and it's a completely different world. Something like this still might not really appeal in that world, and that can be a problem. But Nerf is still doing their thing with standard length foam darts, so why isn't Busby doing more of that? And it's kind of a shame, but unfortunately, that's all I've got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Chances are if you got all the way to this point, you did enjoy this video. So please, once again, hit like, get subscribed, leave a comment down below. I have a lot more videos coming. I just kind of needed a stopgap. And I just felt passionate about unboxing a pretty old blaster and giving it a fair shake in several years after it came out to show you what Busby Blasters were capable of if you happen to have missed them. Thank you very much for watching this video. And of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. You gotta up, up, up.